Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold this evening primrose. It's a little origami flower. It looks like this from the side. And if you look at one of my other videos with this uh, stem in it, flower stem in it, you can cut off the bottom and slide it right in like this to make uh, a little origami standing decoration that would stand up and look something like that. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need a square piece of origami paper. If you're in class, you can use one of my free choice origami papers so you have two when you're done, one for the primrose and one for the stem. If you're anywhere else in the world, you can take a regular sheet of paper, fold it over on a triangle like that, and then slide it towards the left hand edge to um, get these two edges parallel. And once those edges are parallel, crease the paper along the diagonal with your bone folder. Okay. Then you can take this bottom sheet off and if you're in class you can use this bottom square to make your stem. We're looking at the other video of how to make a stem. Now when you have your paper like this into an origami square keep it folded into a triangle like that. Then we're going to start by making a preliminary base. Now I switched my paper so I have colored paper so you can see both sides. Um, but you have it folded in a triangle like this and you're going to valley fold this right hand corner over to the left hand corner this direction. And then crease right along that center line. Now we're going to make a preliminary base. So you're going to take this top flap here, fold it up, separate these two pieces of paper, and while you're holding them still, you're going to take this center crease and bring it right up to this point and then squash fold those edges into mountain folds like that. Once you do that, flip your model over and do the same procedure on the other side. Take this flap, flip it up so that it is standing up straight. Open those two flaps and while you're holding them still so they don't slide away from you, take this piece and squash it down like that. If you know a different way to make the preliminary base, by all means, do that. And this is here our preliminary base. It's what it looks like. If you open it up, it's got all those flaps. You should have two flaps on the right side and two flaps on the left side. Now, take the corner and fold it, valley fold it in towards the center so that the corner is just touching that center line like that. And crease that valley fold. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Take the top flap, fold it towards the center so it's just touching the center line and crease it like that. Now take your model, flip it over and repeat that step. So you're going to take this corner fold it in towards the center and try your best to make it so that these lines the one on the front and the one on the back are matching. Okay, There's the first one, second side or left side folding it over, valley folding it towards the center like so. Okay, Now what you're going to do is you have these four flaps on top from our preliminary base. You're going to kind of take the front one and you're going to valley fold right along this center line of our model there. So you're going to take this top part and you're going to fold it open like that. Okay. Now, once you've got that folded open, if you're very careful, you can do two things. You can either leave it like this and it looks kind of cool because it's just up. Or you can take these two corners here and kind of squash fold them down. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to take this middle crease kind of fold it right along the center line like that gently so the paper doesn't rip and then do the same kind of thing on the other side folding it down along the center line like that so that it doesn't rip and you should have like this larger square Then, if you want to you can pick it up and actually fold it right along this crease here like that and that will help it stay flapped open like that. Okay. Then once you're finished with that you can take your scissors and just trim off a little teeny bit of that bottom right there. Barely anything, just a little teeny 
snip and then you can take your flower stem from the other video and insert it into that hole there from cutting the base off of the preliminary base like that and that should hold it up okay and that stem if you open it up should be able to hold it up like that for our um, evening primrose and that's what it'll kind of look like when you're done now when you're done you can take it and if you wanted to you could kind of cut these edges to make it look a little more interesting rather than just having um, a square piece you could trim it let me move it into the camera there you, go. you could trim these edges and make them kind of a little bit different but that's how you complete the evening primrose origami flower